Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all doing great. Um, uh, before I start, I want to say thank you, thank you to, um, well, to everyone. <laughs> but I've noticed um, I have new subscribers and I'm noticing all your wonderful comments and everything and it means so, so much to me. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me ramble, oftentimes incoherently. <laughs> about stuff it means a lot thank you so much and I try so hard to respond to everyone and to get engage because I love that and um it just it really feels nice so I just wanted to say thank you um I'm here to do um a tag by the wonderful Meg at Rose Honey Ritual she's doing a um deck deal breakers tag and I thought this was really good and very, very interesting. And I will link her below um, if you haven't checked her out. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing with yourself. I really don't. Anyways. Um, yeah, so <laughs> deck deal breakers. Um, I kind of hesitated. I kind of hesitated about this because I know it. I mean, I, I never mean to like to upset anyone or piss anyone off I swear but it's just it's just things that I I feel like um for me don't work so I do have a couple of of decks here so that I can kind of maybe it'll make more sense and I'll, it'll be more understandable so first of all let's just start with goddess decks okay this is an oracle deck this is the goddess oracle by Oh God, so Sophia and Marashinsky, I believe. And oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I love it. Um, I I'm really okay. I have a goddess path. So for me, um, goddess decks and the way that the goddess divine feminine, whatever, is depicted is important. So I can't just use any goddess deck um and I've had so many and I've let so many go and literally this is one of the only ones left because I have trimmed this um just so you know um because I feel like uh just the way that the goddesses are depicted or whatnot like this deck has a wonderful this is a good example in my opinion of a wonderful beautiful balanced goddess deck and that you do have different goddesses but you've also got different ages represented and different body types and um yeah there's just there's a bit more diversity um you know obviously it's not perfect I'm gonna leave us on Inanna here just for obvious reasons if you know me <laughs> but you know just to have like I can it's nice to be able to see yourself in a deck I mean it's nice to have that option and um you know I look at her and it's like hey um I can kind of see myself but like it, it's it's hard because like this artwork is beautiful and it took time and I feel like things nowadays are so rushed um like I'll give an example there's oh god oh god I'm gonna get into this okay Colette Baron Reed I I can't use her decks um I've tried to use her decks. I tried to use her older decks and I never connected with them. I don't know why. Um, and I've had so many of them. Um, but like the photo, the photo stuff with all the, the pretty, you know, filters and everything. I just, I don't connect at all. I can't. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything for me. Um, I know a lot of people have connected with them and and you know it's it's been a wonderful experience I think that's amazing but here's the thing um I did watch a video about how there was a lot of appropriation going on um like willful appropriation going on and things were literally just put together just for the sake of pumping out a deck and I can't get with that especially when it's something that is meant to be either um, like a divinatory, divinatory tool or a spiritual tool or you know if you if you connect with the goddess in your own spiritual practice or things like that like I don't know I just I can't <laughs> I can't do it um I can't use her decks anymore after hearing what I heard it's just not nice um and um yeah 
I, I just, for me, this is just a choice that I've made. It's, it's a personal choice. It's a personal decision. And I just stick to what works for me. Um, and this deck definitely works for me. So, you know, basically it's like, and I know other, other wonderful tarot tubers have expressed this decks these days feel so rushed and, um, and it's been like that for a while. And I realize now why. I have been drawn to bringing older decks back into my life rather than looking at newer ones with, excuse me, with very few exception um, to that. So yeah, <laughs> there's that. But yeah, it's just, it's hard for me because, you know, I'm a woman of color. I come from a background um, that is not really, I'm sorry for the stupid camera, that is not really heavily represented or um depicted certainly not in a positive light so yeah it's it's kind of tough to be able to connect with a lot of the things that are out there a lot of the newer things as well like I don't know that's definitely for me that's a deal breaker now I can't be working with these like women who look like you know, I mean they're beautiful but it just looks unrealistic to me it just it doesn't I don't feel like the essence of of that energy is there so that's a tough one for me and of course like you know there's all these other <laughs> issues decks being rushed things being put out just for the sake of meeting a deadline decks being created by people who don't really have that background and they're just kind of like pumping things out because they thought it was a great way to make money and it shows um and you can feel it when you when you work with these decks sometimes like they're just they're missing something they're lacking something so this is the isis oracle uh this is the pocket edition you can see it's very very small i have kept this deck um because of sentimental reasons really i um the isis oracle the larger one i did have but i i passed that along um but i kept this one because i bought it when I was um, in Toronto, ooh, how many years ago? Seven years ago now. And I met up with a dear, dear friend of mine and she took me to a metaphysical shop and I saw this and I'm like, oh, I know I have the full size one, but for some reason I wanted to, to get it just to have the pocket one. And so I keep it because it reminds me of her and, um, and that time we spent. So yeah. And, um, and here's the thing also with like Alana Fairchild, like I, I can't, I think I've only got one other deck of hers now. Um, did she do Love Your Inner Goddess as well? I don't remember 100%. I used to have some of her other decks, but again, I couldn't connect with them because I felt like something changed and things were getting rushed, it felt. Like I was looking at the Kali um, Oracle and... I, I saw so many walkthroughs and I could not connect with it at all. Um, it just wasn't there for me. And again, it was kind of the same reasons, like just the whole, I mean, and even with, with this, with the Isis Oracle, I mean, you know, this is, this is ancient Egypt or Kemet. This is Africa. And, um, I, I don't know, nobody knows what she looked like, but, um, mm, did she look like this? <sighs> Anyways, I digress. <laughs> Trying not to cause problems here, but I'm just expressing sort of my own issues, you know, with things that um, I, I see things appearing, you know, on on, um, on YouTube and Instagram and whatnot. I'm just looking at it and I'm like, God, where's the substance? Where did it all, where did that go? I mean, it just... I don't know. It's strange. It's just, it's just a funny feeling I get. And I mean, and this is aside from all the other crap, like charging ridiculous amounts of money for, for decks in general and all that waste that Meg really, um, really touched on in such an important way. Um, like, is it necessary to have all this excess packaging? And, and I, I love the talk boxes. I, I, those are great because when you've got limited storage as well and you don't want to have to try and deal with these massive, you know, like the Llewellyn, I mean, it looks nice, but then what do you do with it? I mean, and I feel so guilty because I have a few of them kind of stacked up and 
I haven't looked into trying to um, recycle them. I certainly don't want to just throw them away. I feel awful. Um, and guidebooks as well. I mean, I'm very much into that whole, if you want more, you can buy the guidebook separately. I, I agree with that. I mean, if you price the deck reasonably, then you can just choose to buy the guidebook. I mean, why do we have to have this huge, I don't know, anyways. Others have touched on this much more eloquently than I have, or I could, so. Um, and, and yeah, those are just kind of my things. Um, for me, it's, I'm looking at it more of, I'm talking Oracle decks here for me. I mean, this is <laughs> just a couple of examples, because I was kind of looking at my shelves and thinking, you know, what is it for me that I am having issues with now? What is it that I'm seeing put out that is not speaking to me? And why isn't it speaking to me? And why is it that I'm sort of going back to um, decks that were out years ago rather than looking at perhaps what's coming out now or, you know, what's been recently released? I just, I do feel there has been a shift in energy. I feel like there has been a change and not necessarily a good one. Um, this does totally go back to the whole consumerism thing. Mixtures Ray has wonderful, wonderful videos on that whole tarot capitalism and everything. And it's spot on, but it all ties together. It all ties together. It's all like, we need to be more, I guess we just need to be more conscious about, you know, where we put our energy, but also, you know, what we bring into our lives, I guess. And just being more mindful and that, I mean that's just my take it's just this is just my opinion this is just this is just what I think and um you know yeah I have deal breakers like I, I have decks that I just will not purchase from particular creators now because of you know whatever issues there are and um I'll leave it at that <laughs> but for me um to be able to get a deck it's got to be thoughtfully made I I have to connect with the art I I preferably would like to see the process of the deck and sort of see the artist put this together and also I would like to know that the artists the creators the people behind it have a connection with either the tarot or if it's an oracle deck with the subject of the of the oracle it's not because oh goddess decks are popular let's just throw one together with a bunch of pretty pictures you know it's more of like, well, this is kind of a devotional. This is sort of me expressing, you know, my love for this, this expression of the divine feminine or the goddess, you know, and, and I want to share that. So I don't know. I just, it needs to kind of come from a deeper place rather than how much can we make off of this project? And yeah, that's, that's me. Um, <laughs> it's just, those are my thoughts and that's it. Um, so yeah, I, I, <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to leave this video without mentioning that wretched cardstock, the rose petal cardstock. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I have one deck with that cardstock and I will not get another deck with that cardstock. <laughs> the true black, only because I love it and it's beautiful, but I can't shuffle it. It's it's just, it's wretched. I hate it. And yeah, enough of us have trashed it now. <laughs> I'm going to leave it alone, but I had to mention it. Thanks to um, the lovely Meg for this tag. I think it's a great conversation to have. I think a lot of us are kind of feeling the same sort of way and it's nice to hear other people's opinions and their thoughts and um, I hope I wasn't too offensive. I'm so sorry if I offended anyone. I really don't want to do that. That is the last thing I want to do. I just I'm just kind of sharing how I feel and and how how I have seen things from my lens and and that's it. So thank you so much for listening to me and for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.